Hi guys, welcome back. This is Turning Back the Clock. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, so today we're going to head out to the Peak Dix District and um, we're going to take a look at a B29 crash site um, which is a US Air Force plane uh, that unfortunately crashed in the 1950s in the Peak District um, and the, the wreckage is actually uh, there today uh, as a reminder and as a monument to the, uh, the unfortunate people um, who lost their lives that night. So today we're going to uh, head up there and take a look. Okay guys, just while all this driving is going on, uh, I just wanted to remind everybody to subscribe to the channel. It is completely free. Um, if you do like the videos, please click the thumbs up at the bottom. Um, share the videos on your social media and leave a comment in the comments box below. So guys, we are just starting the trail. Um, Liam is with me, as you may have seen from the car footage. Um, so we are in the Peak District and we're looking for the site of a uh, crashed B-29 bomber, uh, which was a US Air Force plane, uh, which crashed into the hills in, uh, in 1948. And uh, as I said earlier in the video, the wreckage is actually left there as a, a memorial to the unfortunate people who died that night. Um, there's the view we've got currently and uh, we're heading off to try and find it. Let's go. Whew. So obviously I've been off uh, for a little while guys um, having an operation. So this is my actually my first uh, first trip out anywhere in about three or four months so we're uh, starting to feel it straight away on the first B incline that we've done um, so hopefully that will settle in a bit because I'm a little bit out of breath at the minute Okay, so this wreckage site, boys, um, obviously I've never been to this before, um, and it's supposed to be on one of the higher peaks. If I stand up here, I'm assuming we might be up on this peak, but then if you can see on the panel, it's quite misty today. It's there, so I'm expecting it to be up there. Um, but obviously, never been here before, so we'll find out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Missed down there. I missed it. <laughs> Welcome to the world shittest jokes. <laughs> Bad jokes. He looks a bit sheepish, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> hey. The old ones are the best. You can't pull the wool over my eyes. Oh, oh no. that was worse <laughs> than my joke. That was awful. <laughs> he, he walked away in disgust. There is a gate there. I can see the headlines now. Hikers get lost in Peak District. <laughs> Helicopter search pulls up no clues. Luckily, Leo will get a car back. <laughs> okay, so we are probably about an hour into uh, into the walk. I've just done my first Instagram live stream because um, I had signal. So uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram already, head over to Instagram. Um, I follow Rich Lissaman and um, I often post stories, still shots from the adventures, things like that on there uh, to try and promote the channel. Um, so if you're not following me, please do. And uh, you might be able to see some of the live streams as they come up. We're heading in this direction. 
I'm obviously on this hill above. It does look like rocks or, or something. I don't really know which peak has got the uh, crash wreckage on. Um, but we're going to find it. So, uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. So we've just had to turn around uh, and come back a little bit. Uh, so we've probably uh, we've probably walked about five to ten minutes in the wrong direction um, because we're not actually on um, a set path. We're just kind of following the uh, the, the directions of, uh, of a route we found online. So um, we did. We were talking and we've uh, managed to go off piste a little bit. So we come back. Um, we think we're on this kind of little trail just here now. Um, as you can see, you can't see any kind of civilization in front of you for absolute miles. So, um, we're back on track. Still not anywhere close to, uh, to where this wreckage is, but um, yeah, we'll hopefully get there soon. So we've just fired up the GPS guys and yeah we are massively off course, um, don't really know how that happened. We're not lost because um, we know where we've come from, I don't know if you see these structures on the top, that's what we were just looking at. Um, by no means lost but we're, uh, we're not on course to, uh, to find the memorial site, so hopefully picked a track that's going to get us back on course and, uh, and hopefully we'll be there soon. Okay so we are back on track now. Um, I think the basic premise was is we were talking um, and we've walked straight past the, uh, the path we were supposed to be going on um, but it's all part of the adventure. We're actually walking through what is quite a uh, quite a boggy area at the minute. Um, so just being quite careful to uh, to where we stand and uh, hopefully be able to make it through. We're going to do an Olympic beam walk. <laughs> so this this is oh yeah I've got a camera on. This is where we fall off. This is where Liam put it. Almost. I don't really know why he didn't just walk over that, guys. I don't know what he's playing at. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to be doing much falling off this damn thing because oh shit that is not great that it's got some movement on it that has yeah that's um, yeah don't want to get trapped in a peat bog today yeah definitely definitely not so this is one of the uh, the things about this area is there's that much marsh and boggy land um, you only got to go off piece a little bit, you can end up in some real trouble. So we're coming out of the nature reserve now, um, which might mean that the uh, the path might get a little bit better, or it might get a little bit worse, but we don't really know. Um, don't really know how far we are in. What would you say, an hour and a half walk? Be Might be on two hour walk now guys before we found this uh, found this thing. Yeah. 
Should we see what's over this edge, guys? that big old drop down to that river now now right on the edge of this um, right on the edge, edge of this ravine and I'm assuming I'm assuming we're going to uh, cross this at some point it looks like we're going to head up there a little bit more um, and then it'll probably go down and we'll, we'll cross over. We are right on the edge of this now. Yeah. yeah, so this is our trail. I'm assuming this is the left turn. Gotta go down. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna check that now, mate. We're going down, I think. I'm gonna try and keep the camera on while I do this, guys, but I might not be able to. It looks like I might have to use both hands. Yep, it's left. Yeah, so we're down here. Yep. Let's try and keep the camera on this. <clears throat> oh. Try and turn that around this way. Oh, it's not, it's not that bad actually, to be fair. That's not, that's not, that's not that there, mate. Yeah, just watch this because there's a, there is a gap. Slip and fall down. And, uh, a fall or a head impact here would be, um, would be devastating. Air ambulance down here. Well, you'll get the air ambulance. It's, uh, it's calling the damn air ambulance is the problem. Which side of the river are we go in? It looks like that's the path there. Yeah. So we've come up to uh, what is the top of another peak we just, we just had in over the top um, as I say it's cleared up nicely uh, you can actually see where we've been we were on this side um, just there so we've gone all the way up this this ridge down the bottom and then back up again so uh, yeah we've gone quite far in the last two hours um, and I think I was right um, at the start when I pointed at the peak and said I think that the plane is over there. I think that's where we may be coming to. Um, so there seems to be a marker post or something just at the top there. So uh, we're going to head up and see if we're in the right right in the right place. It's everywhere. Okay guys, so we have just arrived. Dotted about absolutely everywhere. I'm gonna take a close look.
So guys, after about three hours of walking, um, a couple of uh, wrong turns, we've made it to the crash site. And as you can see, it is um, a massively overexposed um, crash site. There are literally parts of planes everywhere. There's landing gear, um, there's, there's engines, um, bits of fuselage, there's absolutely everything. Um, it took us a long time to get up here today through boggy, peaty kind of um, kind of marshland. So you can actually, you can see why um, the, the the wreckage was never recovered because it is in the most inaccessible area um, of this whole um, area. And as I say, it is absolutely everywhere, and it really does make you think um, about the people who unfortunately lost their lives on this uh, on this terrible night uh, and as I say it, it now stands here as a uh, as a memorial to those people Okay guys, that's about all we've got time for today. Um, thanks for joining me again. Really, really appreciate um, you watching the videos. Um, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the videos. As I said before in the video, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It is completely free. Um, if you like the videos, click the thumbs up at the bottom. Um, share the videos on your social media and leave a comment in the comments box below. Cheers, see you again.